In the following video, we'll review the function of the wing lift sequence valves on a fiveplex drill, not including the 86 foot. So when we go to wing out our drill, WLP sends pressure over to the base end of the inner and outer wing cylinders, and that pushes them out. And then we have a return, WLR, right? These are ported right through to the tractor, so they're full system pressure. It's the same idea on the high float block. Depending on the size of the drill, it comes to a sequencing valve setup and pressure reduction system. So what that's there for is to make sure that everything works in the right order. So we have our pressure that comes in from the WLP on the valve over to this fitting here and it supplies these two ball valves. When it's up in the air, the wing, the valve is shuttled up like it is shown here. When this is in this position, this valve is open to the inner wing and the one to the outer wing is closed. That makes sure that the inner wing starts unfolding before the outer wing. Straight forward. The inner wing hits the ground then we shuttle these two valves the opposite way. So now the inner wing one is closed and the outer wing one is open. So now the outer wing will start to unfold on both sides. There's a setup like this on left and right. So once the outer wing gets all the way to the ground, the cylinder fully extends and sits at system relief pressure just like that, right? So we're sitting at tractor relief pressure on that outer wing cylinder and that wing is allowed to contour over the ground because it's on a slotted linkage. The inner wing cylinder has trapped oil now. So there's no path for that inner wing to move in and out. So we had to create something that would allow you to move that machine through the field. So we did so by having this pressure reduction valve. We need to reduce the amount of pressure we have at that base end of that cylinder because if we're at system pressure on that inner wing cylinder because we have fixed pins on the main frame rod end and fixed pin on the base end inner wing. So if, if you were to raise up that go or an obstacle with that inner wing, it would effectively bend the cylinder if we didn't have some way to reduce that pressure, right? So if we're sitting that system pressure. So to do so, when this is closed and this is stroked to the end, the oil is forced through here to our inner wing cylinder at a reduced pressure, 500 PSI or so, 500 to 700 PSI. So it's reduced pressure. Now when we cycle things up backwards, our ML, our WLR, our return, so we're gonna make that our pressure now to lift the frame up. We bypass this return. Our ball valve is still closed because it's down on the ground, so you need to have a path for the oil to let it to wing up. So now this becomes our return path for our wing lift. So to bypass the pressure reduction for our wing lift, we have a one-way check valve in here. Very simple system. Let's review what we've learned so far. We're gonna look at the drawing for the 3335, 3330, the 60 and 66 and 76 foot high float drills. All of the 60, 66 and 76 foot drills, whether the high float or standard running gear, have the same wing lift sequencing system. The other sizes of drills are configured a little bit different, but let's focus in on a very common one. So when we're going to zoom in on the left hand side of the drawing to see the wing lift portion, exiting the directional control valve is the WLP pressure oil from wing lift. This is direction controlled by the tractor, sends pressure oil past the ball valve that's going to the inner wing cylinder and then allows full system pressure to go to the base end of the inner wing cylinder to unfold them first. There's a mirrored setup 
right-hand side, left-hand side. Then at the same time, when the wings are up, the outer wing ball valve is closed, stopping any oil flow to the outer wing. That effectively lets the inner wing unfold and come to the ground. And then when that wing comes to the ground, this inner wing ball valve will close and the ball valve to the outer wing will open to allow it to continue its process and unfold the drill. At the same time, when this inner wing ball valve is closed, we don't want to have system pressure at the base end of the cylinder because we could bend that cylinder. So we have to reduce that pressure. We reduce that by when we close this ball valve, it for forces the oil through a pressure reduction valve dropping the PSI to this inner wing cylinder down to approximately 500 PSI to protect the cylinders. On the return cycle, it's a fairly simple system. We're gonna now pressure up the rod end. So because the ball valve to the inner outer wing is open, that outer wing is gonna fold up first. And we are sitting with the same pressure on the inner wing but it is heavier because it has the added weight of the outer wing, so it will just by nature go in the proper direction. The oil exiting the base end of the inner wing cylinders does not go through pressure reduction. It shortcuts through a one-way check and then back to sump. For a good video of watching this happen, you can go to the fold and unfold video of your training session.